Hello, have you ever seen that icky substance when you blow your nose on a piece of Kleenex? That icky substance is actually called snot. Snot is a very important substance our bodies create to protect us from bacteria and germs that can make our bodies very sick. Now, let's see how snot protects our bodies. Let's get ready to make slime. First, what we'll need is a sand and dirt mixture, a wasp broom, a spoon, a medium bowl, corn syrup, a gelatin packet, and a half a cup of warm water. Let's begin. So first let's examine our first line of fins, our nose hair. Let's see what they do with our sand and dirt mixture. So let's grab our, spoon, our whisk broom, and with the dirt, let's press them over. So, the whisk broom stops some of the dirt and sand, but not all of it. This shows where our first line of defense is lacking. But with snot, it will, we'll see what will happen with it. So, with your bowl, grab it. So, the first thing you're going to make snot is protein. To do that, let's grab our gelatin packet and press them over. And then, our next ingredient is water. Water is mainly is composed, our water is mainly composed of water, and it's very warm at 98.7 degrees Fahrenheit. So put some, your half cup of warm water, and with your spoon, let's stir it up. Okay. So now, our the next mixture in our, in our burgers is something sweet. That's why kids usually tend to eat them because their burgers are very sweet. So let's grab our corn syrup and press them inside. So now stir it again, and again. Stir until it's a until everything is all mixed together. So now, we have just successfully made snot. So now let's get our whisk broom and get our snot all over the whisk broom. So now, let's add, now our nose hairs have been mixed with snot, and let's see what happens when we add the dirt mixture. So with the snot, the dirt and sand that goes through it is significantly reduced. This shows how snot assists our nose hairs in protecting us from dirt and bacteria. As we just have seen, snot is, is very important when protecting our nose and bodies from bacteria and germs. In this model, the, br the broom fibers represent our nose hairs, which are called cilia. The broom fibers are able to hold back the dirt, but not all of it. With the addition of the sn with our snot, we are able to hold back more dirt. Snot is composed of water, sugars, proteins, and an enzyme called lysozyme. With snot, it's able to hold back much more dirt before, which, in, which protects us more from bacteria and germs. When snot surrounds germs, it hardens up creating boogers. Gross. Now doesn't that thing make you think twice before picking your nose?